13 minutes after 6 on this Wednesday morning. Want to get to the latest now on our coverage of the high price of paradise. The Florida State Senate Committee passed two bills looking to help homeowners dealing with the skyrocketing property insurance premiums. The Florida House was adding amendments to the bills until 11 o'clock last night. Now they're going to return to the floor to discuss possible insurance reform. And our Paul Legrone is following developments all week in Tallahassee. He caught up with a local senator who's pushing for more. Well, it's a new day, but the same old problems here in Tallahassee. I'm Paul Legrone covering the special session. We spoke with one Florida lawmaker who tells us the insurance crisis may get worse before it gets better. He's been the lone soldier in the state capitol, sounding the three-alarm fire on Florida's property insurance meltdown. A meltdown burning homeowners with higher rates and dropped coverage. The lone soldier who no one was listening to until it was too late. Uh, and you've been sounding the alarm for years. Uh, how do you think it's going right now? Well, I think the legislature has to do more. Senator Jeff Brandis doesn't think the current legislation that lawmakers are debating right now goes far enough when it comes to reforming the insurance industry. And he warns that the part of the bill that prohibits insurance companies from not covering older roofs, while that sounds good for the homeowner, Brandis says it could actually backfire. When you restrict a company's ability to, to actually, actually manage their book, what they're likely to do is just pull back more, not to engage more. And so if we want more competition in the marketplace, we have to allow this flexibility. And frankly, we need to allow companies to be able to survive. But ultimately, while this looks like a consumer-friendly provision, I think ultimately it hurts consumers in the end because they're going to have less competition in the marketplace. Senator Brandis says it often takes a crisis in the legislature to get them to move on certain issues. Listen, June 1st is the, is the start of hurricane season, but it's also when most of your, insur your insurance companies have to have their reinsurance treaties in place. The cold reality is the legislature's actions are too little too late, and any impact from whatever bill they pass won't be felt by homeowners for at least a year. I think we could be back here in as, as early as three weeks. What could happen is June 1st could come and you could have 20% of your companies not be able to close their reinsurance. If that happens, they effectively cannot write more business in the state of Florida. They will lose their ratings, not be able to buy, not be able to sell products that have, are federally backed mortgages, which is most of their products, and, uh, and then be placed essentially into receivership or runoff. And so you could lose 20% of your market June 1st. So it sounds like it could actually get worse before it gets better. I could get a lot worse. It could get a lot worse. You could, you could see a million to potentially two million policies being dropped just as hurricane season starts. And I also asked Senator Brandis about the rising cost of rent that is forcing so many families in Florida into homelessness for the first time. We spoke with a, a single mom with disabled kids who saw a $1,000 a month increase in her rent. Uh, he said there's really a limited amount of options that the state of Florida, the government has. He says really this is a supply issue. He believes that you just have to encourage home builders to build more homes, to put more homes on the market, and that will eventually, slowly but surely, bring those rent prices down. Paul Legrone in Tallahassee, ABC Action News.